both the United Kingdom and India, unfortunately, share uh, have suffered from terrorist attacks. So what has happened in India last week in Kashmir is something that we regret and we send our condolences and we deplore. We deplore terrorism wherever it takes place. Uh, and similarly, uh, terrorist attacks have taken place in the United Kingdom. We would never expect, just because of those terrorist attacks, that investors in the United Kingdom uh, would fight shy and go away. So our commitment to India remains extremely strong, uh, and I very much hope that we will be as successful in the future as we have been in the past years. So are you looking to uh, invest in the defense manufacturing sector or any other? Well, that's for, that's for the defense industry, the private sector defense industry, to determine the companies that are here, and they come every year to Defense Expo and to Aero India. Uh, that's their commitment. Uh, as I say, as I said before, as the second biggest defense exporter in the world, uh, the United Kingdom is particularly interested in the, the, the uh, possibilities that exist here. Working together with those Indian companies that are coming into the defense industry is to me a really important uh, strand of our activity and I know that our defense industry, the companies uh, in the UK, are looking very closely at that with great interest.